8 a.m. Ferencváros railway station. We've stopped. No one knows when we'll get going again. We are all just trying to stay positive, to trust that everything will be all right. We've been in this wagon for eight days on our way from Somerthay to Budapest. No one knows what's going on. Dear mother, please just keep believing that everything will be all right. Miksha, July the 30th, 1945. Towards the end of World War II, hundreds of thousands of people scribbled notes like this one and let them go on the wind. It was their only hope of getting word to their families of where they were and what was happening. They were being sent to Soviet labor camps. Most of the notes that were found were passed on to the intended recipients, giving them some clue of the full horror. The evils of Nazism had been followed by Soviet terror. The Hungarian National Museum now aims to do the same thing, to pass on those desperate messages to the present generation in its new exhibition space, Circles of Hell, Malenki Robot, Forced Labour in the Soviet Union, housed in an old Cold War bunker outside Ferencváros railway station. The figures of the sculpture group near the bunker entrance seem to be dispersing themselves into thin air. The display inside the bunker brings before us the experiences of nearly 700,000 Hungarians forced into Gulag and Gupi labor camps by the Red Army. Malenkaya Robota, or small work, were the words muttered by the Soviet authorities as they rounded up their victims. Those who were taken were promised four or five days clearing up the rubble in the streets of post-war Budapest. What faced them in reality was four or five years of forced labor in Soviet mines quarries and fields. About a third of those deported died in the camps, their lives claimed by malnutrition, disease and overwork. The fate of these innocent civilians paints a grim picture of the dawn of life behind the Iron Curtain. Men and women condemned to slave labour, the atmosphere of uncertainty, for anyone could be taken at any time and under any pretext, the sense of human life was cheap, the enforced silence of millions. The Hungarian National Museum puts an end to this silence, exposing the fabric of lies that kept the subject taboo for so many decades. The Malenki robot exhibit, through interviews with survivors, multimedia displays, artworks, film, learning programs and print publications explores the system of deportations, both of civilians and of prisoners of war, the crawling into forced labor, the mass rapes, the salvation, the destruction. It also explores the prisoner's return and the memories of the victims kept silent for so long. 20th century European history presents us with a lamentable catalogue of suffering. All nations in different parts of the continent have their own stories of exaltation and terror. If we are to build a union upon common values, we need to begin with a shared understanding of our past. We must all accept the evidence of the misery caused by different dictatorships united by the suffering they caused. To help ourselves move forward and get beyond the cruelty and the trauma, we need to develop a collective memory and create public forums to express it. The Malenki Robot Memorial Museum has been set up with this aim in mind. <laughs>